Retail investors, those putting money in their 401ks, anyone wanting to buy real estate, everyone is asking about rate increases this year and what you do in your portfolios in order to strategize right now. It's a tricky question. Jaime Quiros is a senior portfolio manager at FBB Capital Partners, and he's here to help uh, people navigate through it. So when clients come to you and say, what do I do right now in terms of this? Um, what are the sort of top tools that you give them? That's a great question. It is a hot topic right now. I get various uh, calls or inquiries about it. We're looking at uh, stocks to to offset the Fed rate hikes. We're looking at uh, full equity allocations, right? Because we feel that the long-term uh, factors will more than offset the near-term pressures. Or we're looking at uh, trimming those high uh, evalu uh, evaluated names or expensive valuations and or the large weightings that have run up in the, in the portfolio and using those proceeds to, to add uh, possibly to some of that fixed income when the rates do go up. Um, and then finally, we're adding to uh, attractive valuations. The volatility recently in the markets has uh, given some uh, opportunities and we're looking to take advantage of those. And, and it's interesting, Jaime, as well, because you're, you're looking at the ISM numbers, manufacturing surveys in particular, as potentially rolling over a little bit as we get further into the year. And so what kind of implications will that have and how can people be sort of defensive if that's, if that's happening? Yeah, again, just uh, trimming, trimming those names that have run high and staying within the targets. And if you're looking to add into the equity space, right, you're looking at um, defensive names, staples, um, so that if that does happen when, the, when in terms of the manufacturing does cool off, then you're, you're kind of protecting the portfolio. When, when clients or potential clients come to you right now, what's the biggest investing mistake you see them making? Uh, yeah, the fear of missing out on the names that have run up so much right now. Um, trying to get into tech uh, or, or the names that were working in, in, uh, during the, the peak of, of, um, of last year, right? In the, in the middle of last year where um, names where they just ran up so high and trying to add to those. And right now they're, they're not doing so well. And, and are you also talking to people about sort of alternative assets in this environment? Um, if you mean like uh, cryptocurrencies and that kind, of, that kind of thing, it's tough to talk yeah, about those. Whether it's cryptocurrencies, <clears throat> whether it's sort of um, real estate, like anything that's not stocks, I guess, basically is what I'm asking. Yeah, where, no, that's a good question. Where that right. should fit in. Yeah, well... We favor stocks more because of the dividends they pay and the growth aspects of it. Uh, when it comes to commodities, it's tough, right? Right, right now they are going up, but um, we it's been volatile over the summer. Um, where, where, yeah, no, we favor more stocks. Um, and while we do keep an eye on commodities and and real estate, um, right now it's more appealing to be in in the, in the markets. Gotcha. All right, sticking with stocks here. Thanks so much, Jaime. I appreciate it. Jaime Quiros. Um, joining us to talk through some strategy, your FBB Capital Partners. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, Davos may not be happy.